This little tool has completely changed the way I work with my CNC machine. But before we get into that, let me show you the struggle I used to deal with whenever I was setting up jobs and tools on the CNC machine. Big shout out to Arturo from CNC for PC for hooking me up with this awesome touch probe and tool setter. If you're into CNC, make sure to show him some love and check out cncforpc.com today. I've put a link in the description. As you can see, this touch probe has really sped things up compared to the way I used to do things. These two tools here have changed my workflow completely. I can now probe in parts quickly, find centers, find the ends, edges of my work pieces, find the Z, and with the tool setter, I can have all of my offsets from this probe. So I can now probe Z, change the tool in the Mark IV software, and then the tool setter with all the tool tables all set up, inputs the offset straight away, and then the machine can cut without any further interaction from me setting tool heights off of a work piece or anything like that. So it just makes everything so much easier. So we'll dive into how it's all wired and the control board that I'm using this stuff with. All right, so here we have the main components of the setup. So I've got my emergency stop, which actually gets wired into the main control board for the, the, the setup itself. So it's pretty simple. You wire in your um, both sides of your um, emergency stop switch into this. On this board here, I connect a wire into this, this one here which goes back to the emergency stop on my actual C82 control board. Um, and then every time you press your emergency stop button, that sends the signal to the machine to do an emergency stop situation. Now each probe, so this is the tool setter probe, um, this has your, so this would be your normal tool setting. And then if it goes right down, there's a secondary one which actually engages the same relay which sends that signal out to the emergency stop. Um, if you get a tool come down too fast and it doesn't trigger, it'll hit that second stop which will then stop the whole machine and the machine will no longer run. So the probe itself has the same thing so it'll it'll touch and then if it goes too far it'll touch that emergency stop so the tool itself i believe has a nine millimeter um, shaft can't remember the size in imperial but it is actually an imperial shaft but i'm running it in a nine millimeter uh, tool holder so these are obviously my bt30 um, tapered tooling holders so that i can put them in my quick change um, bt30 spindle so basically this is set up as tool one and my tool one being the probe every time i touch this on the top of any of my parts or work surfaces um, automatically puts in my tool offsets so when i set up a tool offset everything is set up off of this um, main number one tool um, so it's pretty simple connection for these so quite an ingenious sort of a way that it's being done so each of the probes the tool setter and the actual probe itself both wire into this this cable and this cable here has just a normal sort of a headphone jack on the end of it so you got your three which is your um your earth your sense and then your next one is the secondary sense um, for the emergency stop uh, so you get your board and there's a headphone jack port on that literally plug that in and that's the tools set up ready to go so the way this connects back to my particular machine is um, through an ethernet cable so i plug in the ethernet cable and that goes into the the control board itself and then that's basically wired up um, then all you need to do is go through the setup procedures on the um, mark 4 site itself and then basically set the probe up as that pin number which is pretty easy so we'll shoot around the front uh, around the back of the machine and I'll show you where that connects into my control board so this is the back of the machine um, this is inside my cabinet so here I've got my 24 volt power supply um, which uh, I have two wires going directly to the actual control board itself and then these here are outputs so the red is my positive and the 
green as my negative so that just heads off to my sensors and relays and things like that so this here is the c82 board um, from cnc for pc this is what controls the entire machine and interfaces back to mark IV. so basically the setup for this to be able to run the touch probes I've got it plugged into here, into input port 2, and then you basically just configure those inputs into the Mark IV software so that when that touch probe triggers, it triggers the triggers that particular pin, which is in here, and then that sends a signal to the machine to say, hey, stop what you're doing. There's my Z0 or my X0 or Y0, and then that saves it into the, um, in the probing. Um, this wire here, is the single wire that's connected for my e-stop so basically that is that output wire from that little control board that i showed earlier and that there is what does the emergency stop for the whole whole machine so as you can see the setup is quite simple um, by just setting up a couple of pins as inputs and setting up the board that comes with the machine plugging it into the ethernet and then into the c82 board you got a pretty um, simple way of probing in parts and, of course, setting tool offsets um, for your different size tool. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the, um, the probes themselves. Once again, thanks Arturo from CNC for PC for supplying me with the, uh, the touch probe and the tool setter. Um, really appreciate it. Really appreciate the support on the channel. Yeah, if you haven't already, head over to CNC for PC and go check out what they got because they got some pretty cool stuff there. If you'd like to see more of the touch probes and the tools and CNC machine in action, uh, make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching.